about to find out. Here's the tail of the tape. Look, 70 inch reach for Sanchez. Yancey Medeiros with a sizable five inch reach advantage. That could be a difference in this. With the official introductions, here is the voice of Bellator MMA, Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Bellator MMA Live on Showtime. We're back again tonight here at Blaisdell Arena in Honolulu as we get set for Bellator 279 where the action is set to begin now with three five-minute rounds in the lightweight division. Introducing the blue corner at 5'10", weighing in 155.4 pounds. In his Bellator debut, he stands with 15 professional victories, eight defeats from Makaha, Hawaii, presenting UFC Medeiros. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. At 5'9", weighing in 155.4 pounds, the two-time featherweight title challenger making the move up to lightweight brings 20 professional victories, seven losses from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm on the way in Matador Sanchez. In charge of the action, your referee Mike Beltran. The atmosphere at the Neil S. Blaisdell Arena already electric. The fans behind, well, not that man, El Matador Emmanuel Sanchez, as John mentioned, in hostile territory. Yancey Medeiros with an opportunity for a storybook beginning to a Bellator MMA career. But the opportunity needs to be seized, John. And against Sanchez, you have a guy who is as, as tough as they come, a man who has vied for featherweight gold on two different occasions, and now looking to mine success at 155. You know, that he's coming up in weight. Yancey yeah, Maduro started off at 185 pounds, went to welterweight, went to lightweight, back at lightweight now. Sanchez, a very big volume fighter, normally has a great pressure attack. Throws a ton of shots, not a ton of power, but boy, they add up. Inside kick by Sanchez, jab from Medeiros. And I love the stiff jab that Yancey Medeiros is utilizing right now. He's making that thing count. You can already see the red in Emmanuel Sanchez's face just from the jab. And Sanchez looking for the single. Well defended by Medeiros. And the dogged determination of Sanchez, but the defense of Medeiros on display. Medeiros snatching the neck. Nice change up by Yancey Medeiros. He's got that tight right now, but Sanchez is very good at defending. Two minutes gone here in the opening round. Medeiros has Sanchez back. And again, the crowd erupting in anticipation of what could happen next. Daniel's going to try to switch around and his guard. Nice reversal by Sanchez. by fire for Yancey Medeiros in his Bellator MMA debut against a guy like Sanchez. Yancey is used to this. Yancey has been fighting all over the place, and he is used to the battle, man. He is battle-tested, but he is definitely up against it with Emmanuel Sanchez, a guy that is good everywhere. Emmanuel's ground game is outstanding. He is a black belt in jiu-jitsu also, so you got to be careful with him everywhere. Two minutes left in the opening round as they dance for dominant position along the fence. Yeah. 
Sanchez representing a Rufus Sport out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Medeiros trains with the likes of Nate Diaz, who was in attendance at 209, being represented in the 808. Calf kick by Sanchez, an effective strike. And there, Sanchez lands a nice combination coming forward. There's the long jab from Medeiros, and his corner would love to see him establish the stick, John. Absolutely, and they do not want to let Sanchez get on a roll. Once Sanchez starts to feel comfortable, he'll just start continuing his attack. He brings the volume every time, so. Oh, nice right cross. Lead right hand lands for Sanchez. Under a minute left in the first. That made Madero smile. Double left hand by Maderos. Sanchez, bloodied face, but still in the pocket, still in the zone, and looking for an opportunity to score. Sanchez definitely looking for those counters. Take a look at what he's doing with his hands. Keep him up high. Mm -hmm. As soon as Yancey starts to move, he's already starting to throw those counters. And he's had success with the right. Yes, he has. 20 seconds left in the first round. And Medeiros has had success with the jab. And There's that's, what's up on. There's a left for Medeiros. That's what Medeiros needs to rely on. Oh, Go back to that jab. Nice left hook to the body by Medeiros. Countered by Sanchez. Sanchez jumping for the knee. And Sanchez all over Medeiros in the final seconds of what has been a kinetic opening five minutes. Medeiros looking for his first win at lightweight since... Returning to the division in January of 2019, and of course for Sanchez, looking for a victory in his first fight at 155 here in Bellator MMA. A sharp jab by Medeiros to kick off round two. How do you have the fight after one round on your unofficial scorecard, BJM? Yeah, unofficial, I have Yancey Medeiros winning that round. You gotta go back to that jab and how often he was able to land it early in the first round. Sanchez came on and was coming back. Just not enough time to get it all the way back. Sanchez is really starting to find his counters in here. He's timing Yancey. He's allowing Yancey to throw that opening shot, but he's always coming back with a counter. Sharp jab from Sanchez. Still in range to tag Medeiros with the right. Medeiros going downstairs, nice combination. Left hand came over the top of the right, but a good combination return from Sanchez and a good jab popping the head back at Sanchez. This so lots of volume in this one, John. This is exactly what you expect out of Emmanuel Sanchez. Once he starts to get on that roll, beautiful. That jab is a huge difference maker in this fight so far. But once Sanchez gets on a roll, man, he just starts flowing. And he will throw from any angle. Well, they promised to deliver a barn burner. You look at the uh, ingredients, Yancey Medeiros. Eight of his 15 wins via knockout. And Emmanuel Sanchez, again, just incredible conditioning and just keeps coming at you. And there, left hand as Medeiros was trying to land the left of his own. Sanchez being effective with those kicks to the legs. Starting to upset the balance. Oh, that's a nice. Tiger Sanchez. Dig into the body with that left hook and also. Left hook upstairs by Medeiros lands. Medeiros with the right. And the crowd erupting here in Hawaii. But there's a nice left from Sanchez. Both of them having their shining moments. Lead left uppercut by Medeiros. Put himself out of position and in harm's way. Absolutely. Low extension. Sanchez took advantage of it. There's another left hook to the body by Medeiros. Continues to invest to the body with the jab. You're trying to pierce some kind of a hole in that, that endless tank of Sanchez and a good low chopping kick by Sanchez. Sanchez has been very successful with that low kick throughout the fight. Push 
kick by Maduro's minute 45 left in the second round. You see Yancey starting to change the stance. It's telling you that leg's starting to get a little bit chewed up. He wants to be in the orthodox because that jab has been working for him. Again, switches to southpaw. Hook by Materos doesn't follow up with the right, goes to the body again with the left. A lot of pot shots. Fainting now from Madero. Sanchez, meanwhile, in his stance, marching forward. Darts a left and another left knocks Maderos off balance and looks for the takedown. Trying to run the pipe on the single leg. He's got him to the ground. Can he keep him there though? Nice job by Yance Maderos. Get himself back to his feet, fighting the hands off. Final 45 seconds of the second round. Crowd showing their appreciation for what has been a hard fought battle already between El Matador and Manuel Sanchez and Yancy Maderos. Both looking to snap career high losing streaks, both knowing how important it is to get back into the win column, especially for Maderos, getting this opportunity to keep his career at the highest level alive. Absolutely, and if right now, Sanchez, this is the grind that Sanchez brings. The question is, how tired is Yancey getting? Because the, well, one thing we do know is that lead leg is getting chewed up. Oh, oh he got, got hurt. Tagged. He got hurt left by that. Right, and there's another left to the body. Madero's making hay at the end of round two. Successful title defense, they embrace and now renew hostilities. The third and final round, Scott Cushman administering instructions to Sanchez after he was tagged late in round two by Yancey Maderos. And Big John McCarthy has Maderos ahead. 2018 on his unofficial scorecard. I'm being honest, oh, I, had Sanchez right hand by coming, Sanchez. I had Sanchez coming back in that round with the leg kicks and everything, but when Yancey Maderos hurt him, Changes that, that round over to Maderos. Damage! Again, Maderos sticking the jab effectively, left hook. You know, we talked at the begin before the fight ever began, more about the reach advantage, 70 inches to 75. Yancey Maderos is making use of that extra length. One, two from Maderos. Very clean shot, split the guard. Another jab by Maderos lands as Sanchez tries to take small steps forward. Maderos initiating the offense and really close in terms of, uh, in terms of total strikes landed and Sanchez lands a nice right and there's another sharp left from Maderos. Right kick by Sanchez to the noggin of Maderos. I like the way Maderos has mixed up his attack, John. Yeah, he's very effective to that, but I'm not forgetting about the body. He goes to the body almost, probably about one third compared to two, but I mean, he has never left that behind. Oh! And again, and now Sanchez looking for the single. Trying to bring the fight to the ground, being stuffed by Yancey Maderos. Yancey Maderos doing a nice job. Control the head, slips his and leg out, and lands a left beautiful hook. left hook. That's what we talk and about. Eight. On the exit, he made him pay. Sanchez again, trying to bring the fight to the canvas. Midway point of the final round. Foot stomping Maderos. More an irritation than anything else. And Maderos try to create some separation if he can. They pummel. And now Sanchez and Maderos jockeying for position. And chance of Yancey resonate throughout Neil S. Placedale Arena.
Daniel Sanchez is trying to be busy in here, land his knees. He's got to do something to get Yancey either to the ground or break away and make him pay on that exit. Here he goes, step through. Doesn't get it. Nice job by Yancey. Look at and those he hips. goes to his back and now looking to attack the neck while the veteran Sanchez tries to defend blindly. And now turns in reversal and both back to their feet. And the grind continues against the cage. Final minute of Yancey Madero's Bellator MMA debut, his first fight here in his native Hawaii in 13 years, and the lightweight debut for El Matador Manuel Sanchez, who was challenged twice for the featherweight championship. Is there a final explosion? Or will it end with Sanchez stapling Maderos to the fence? There's the end break, and Sanchez lands the right, changes levels. Nice clean exchange by Sanchez. And Maderos Sanchez, wants it. He will definitely stand in the middle and exchange. <laughs> he loves this kind of stuff. Fifteen very hard minutes for both guys. Both guys had their moments. Ladies and gentlemen, after three non-stop rounds of action, we go now to your three judges at cage side. Your first, Michael Bell, scores the fight 29 to 28. While judges Brian Miner and Mike Onzuka score the fight the same 30 to 27. All three have it for the winner by unanimous decision. Yes. Home sweet home for Yancey Maderos.